Welcome back. It's week now week two of the bus diaries and I'm gonna kind of go over what has been happening over the past couple weeks. So as you can tell it's raining right now. If you can't, um, it is. Um, uh, it's been raining for about three weeks now on and off so this is kind of an unfortunate situation because I'm actually deleting a few of my windows so I can replace them with metal panel. And you can see actually right over here that I'm actually kind of removing the window and right now that's just how it looks. I'm fabricating them out. I have uh, some tools at my disposal that I'm using. So I'm developing it in CAD, then water jetting it out, folding it uh, with a sheet metal bender, and then I take it to the spray booth and prime it with white paint and also fill it with uh, spray foam insulation, then cut out the axis and then just place it in. It's been a little hot and humid so <laughs> it's been a little bit of a time trying to get this going so right now I'm actually going to be developing uh, the walls all the way around the bus when I put the metal panels in so the metal panels are the first in the series of things that I need to do for when I start building the rest of it out. Uh, the windows are kind of holding me up because I can't access the windows when I need them. And that is kind of the first step in the process. So that's kind of the work that's going on right now. Um, next week, hopefully after all the metal panels are installed, I have them almost done. I'm about, they're all painted. I'm about to put them in um, the le last thing I have to do or the next thing that I have to do is I'm going to be putting in a countertop and the rain is really coming down right now wow this is incredible uh, the camera is getting completely drenched I hope it still works uh, and the reason why I'm standing here is because of the rain but also I have a microphone right here that I can't take much farther than where I'm standing so it kind of sets itself up to be something that works in two ways um, now going on to the living situation over the past two weeks it's been pretty much the same uh, I don't use the university gym it's still pretty busy and there's not a lot of parking that I could use at that gym so I have decided to go to crunch fitness so crunch fitness is the new gym that I'm using I mean it's alright the gym is, the equipment is nice, but the showers are just kind of dirty. I, I don't like them. The university showers are really nice, because that's currently where I'm... <laughs> oh no. My, uh, my bus is probably going to get soaked, but this is incredible. Uh, and actually, now that it's raining, it's at, I love at night when it's raining out, because... The sound that you get off the metal panel roof is incredible, but I digress. Uh, let's keep going with the story. So the past couple weeks have been interesting to say the least because I have been having an issue with the motor. Uh, I, uh, I I don't think I'm getting enough fuel, so I'm replacing the fuel filters. I just received those a couple days ago. I'm going to be replacing those this week. I just need to find a container that I can put some diesel in because I got to, I have to wet up the, the filters before I replace them. Not a big issue, they're pretty surface area, it'd probably take like an hour, two hours max. Um, usually a half hour job, but I'm not a professional. So yeah, that's going to take me about two hours. Sleeping, I've been sleeping in parks, parking lots, no Nox yet, this is interesting. So everyone's been pretty pretty accepting of my bus in places even though it kind of looks a little patchy right now especially with the the windows removed and one metal panel installed that I need to take out and I need to paint 
Um, I have three of them painted right now, so going to do that. And yeah, I'm just moving along now, trying to get stuff done, trying to do my work, my research, my teaching, and get the buses completed as possible before winter comes because winter is going to be so freaking cold. I need to buy the diesel heater so that I can run a line into my tank or run an external tank that's smaller. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. So when I figure that out, I'll I'll describe the challenges and what everything that's going on. But um, yeah, it's it's been going good. I I really love it actually. It's it's interesting. Uh, been able to focus more on the work that I do and also not have to worry about anything else uh, except for trying to find a place to sleep so all of that has just been pretty streamlined uh, I do get I do get kind of iffy when I'm trying to find a new spot but I think I found a good rotation that I like to go to especially if I'm gonna do something in the morning I'll park in there that area so that when I wake up I just go to that area and yeah, I don't think I have any more updates for this week, these past two weeks. I think it's better. We'll see. If there's a lot of things that happen in the next week, maybe I'll do it next week. But every two weeks seems to be pretty good because I have a lot that I can get done in between then. And then I can talk about it for maybe 10, 12 minutes. Because um, I don't want them to be too long, like an hour on long dragging on. But I also want them to be too short. Because I think there's a lot of information that needs to be discussed when you're talking about something that you're living in and building at the same time. So, yeah. Um, I'll uh, see you next week or in two weeks. Maybe three. No, not three. Two weeks. Bye. And the good thing about the end of a week is that we can look forward to the beginning of the next. When I'll be back...